welcome into another weekly update from Muskogee Media. Jason Salzman along with Jessica McBride. And as you've seen this week on our outlets, we got the interviews with One Fire Holding Company, the chairman of the board, Sean Copeland, and the CEO, Mike Payne. Jessica, lots of things were done in that interview. What we really wanted to do was introduce people to this is who One Fire is and get them on camera talking about the structure and everything like that. This certainly isn't the end of our coverage with them. In fact, we've talked with them about continuing in a series, uh, exploring some of their investments and whatnot. But also, they are are going to be uh, relaying some information to us, too. Right. Uh, we've asked for some a summary of their financials, you know, how they're doing financially. Um, and so here in the next few weeks, they'll be giving that information to us. Mm -hmm. We also wanted to let citizens know, I was at the BF&J committee session last night, and one of the things that was brought up is that our economic development entities, so... One Fire, MNBE, Muskogee International will be giving a financial like quarterly update mm -hmm. at the BF&J committee session. I believe it's January 28th. Keep an eye out on the National Council website, which is www.mcn nc.com. Yeah, and what we understood with the report that we would be getting is something like an S&P with mm -hmm. Wall Street, things like that. Mm -hmm. so. And and that's that's something that they're going to be able to provide mm -hmm. to us. Um, one of the things that citizens may not understand is during this meeting, it's it's a executive type session. Mm -hmm. um, so citizens will be able to go and know, you know, where we stand as far as our businesses are concerned. Right. But this isn't something that they allow press to mm -hmm. or that they allow anyone who's not a citizen to. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we won't be able to be there and report on it. But uh, citizens fully uh, can go. And January 28th, we'll keep you up to date on the Times place, probably in the council chambers, but I'm not sure. We will keep you up to date on all of our outlets with that. Also, uh, continuing coverage with the council house. And I found out today that the folks from the Smithsonian uh, museum, the American Indian, will be coming down next week into Altmulgee. They have asked to go to the council house to see uh, some of what's going on there, and uh, we have reached out and are hoping to get them on camera as well to talk about it, to go in with our ongoing coverage. So that'll be nice too. Exactly. And I, I think citizens would like to see, you know, what's going on with that project, and we'll keep them up to date. Yeah, and you got both sides of it, those that are at the Cultural Center and Archives Department, the National Council. You kind of get a, too much of a closeness there with both sides. It'd be nice to get an outside museum, uh, and one is reputable, it's the Smithsonian, to come in and, and give their take on it as well, just to bolster our coverage a little bit as far as a well-rounded uh, that we want to give to our citizens. So there's that. Also, we had a Muskogee Media Editorial Board meeting today, uh, some business taking place, and we're going to be having those each month. The next one will be February the 26th that we set that for, but those meetings are open and we are putting those out and everything like that. And I think that that was part of our, our we really wanted to have people, you know, call in, be a part of it. Right. We want our meetings to be open to the public so that if citizens have concerns or if they just want to know what's going on in our department, they have that ability. Absolutely. Anything else, Jessica, coming down the pipe from Muskogee Nation News that we wanted to get, let people know about? Oh, just keep up to date with our coverage. Follow mm -hmm. us on social media and, and we'll have news and feature stories for our citizens. Native News Today Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter and also Stay right here on the YouTube channel for Muskogee Media. We'll have weekly updates to you as uh, each week, and we'll have all kinds of things. Uh, each, each, each week we put up our Native News Today episodes too. So all kinds of things that come uh, on all of our outlets. Stay tuned right here with Muskogee Media.